Hey guys, so here we are at Pacific Coast Highway version 1 and a big shout out to Phoenix who designed and built this, it's absolutely stunning. This is running the two way traffic and I've got this gorgeous 350Z sat on the tarmac. A lot of people ask me on the videos and in Discord what my settings are on CSP, Sol and video settings. So the footage that is running today are running the settings that I'm going to go through in this video. So you can follow them in the video today and you can pause as you need to and the presets are in the description to download so just before we go into the video I'm running Sol 2.2 and I'm running CSP 1.76 preview 136 I am running Sol 2.2 on the highest preset and you can just click on that on the configuration tool and I'm also running Sol extra so I'm not running pure on this video Here we are then guys, we're into my content manager. So I always start with about and updates in custom shader patching. You notice I do that on a lot of my videos. That's because this is really important with what features you're gonna see down the left hand side. And then that means what you can actually change in those settings. So here you can see that I'm on 0.1.76 preview 136. So we all know that a new version is gonna be out soon. This is the preview version that is on Patreon. So if you haven't got the preview version, you will be on 1.75. Now you can see I can download 1.75 here and if I click on there, that will actually bring that up and install it. If you've got a preview version, you have to drag and drop it in. You can't install it from this right hand menu here. So that's really important. I always auto update disabled here because I like to change things manually but it's just to be really clear that today I'm talking you through my settings for 0.1.76 preview 136 and that is the Patreon version. So if you do want to drop onto the Patreon page for Ilya and also Peter's got his own now for Sol, they've got some great updates on there and I think it's a couple of pounds a month to support those guys. The purpose of this video is so you can download and install my settings from Custom Shader Patch and there's two settings that you'll be able to do. That is the video settings and the Custom Shader Patch settings. So I'm just gonna go through Custom Shader Patch very quickly first so you can just see some of the tips that I use on my custom shader patch but also what the kind of settings are that I've got now obviously when you download these settings and install them you can then move them wherever you need to be but this is just giving you a template to start with so let's go through this top section here first so we've got cars and configs car textures cars VAO tracks configs tracks VAO and backgrounds I'm not going to go through these in too much details apart from to say that in all of these you've got things that you can actually upgrade or install so you can see here on this one for instance I've got older and then some I've got no and some I've got yes you can actually download these by right clicking on them and reinstalling for instance and then that will bring it up to the latest version and these are for all the different cars that you've got actually in your Assetto Corsa it's the same for textures you can do this as well you can see some I've got yes and some I've got no one but you can reinstall these now some of them are a little bit larger than other ones but the main ones that I would focus on are the cars VAO and the tracks VAO the track configs as well so these are all basically going to add to your experience the cars VAO and tracks VAO will bring different kind of graphical updates to those different pieces and also the track configs as you can see here adds different things into the tracks it could be the way, way the lights are actually positioned or it could be some other kind of effect so do download these and again it's exactly the same on here if you've got older for instance and you think you want to reinstall it you can reinstall and it just says yes so as long as you've got your internet connection that is really easy so this section up here that's all I'm going to say about it but what I would say is if you are using a particular car or track and it's one of your favorites, do make sure you go in here and check if there's a particular update that can make it look even better. Now let's go on to the main patch settings here. So the general patch settings. So obviously shaders patch, I've got active. Um, I've also got developer settings active there too. Um, I think the only other thing that I would mention on here is all about this audio piece as well. So this add sound delay with distance, that's really important because that changes the way that you hear the sound depending on where you are on the track. There's also these physics tweaks as well that if you are using the preview versions now, you can actually start to mess about with these and especially this double precision physics engine which is the floating point piece that means that you get better force feedback and potentially with bigger tracks. Next, let's go on to brake disc effects. I've always got that on and of course this gives you little uh, effects within the disc there 
car instruments there's a number of things here but i've got this active as well and just about everything switched on there chase cam i'll skip past and chat shortcuts colorful shadowing um i don't know if you've seen my video that i did on the channel on this when this originally came out about three or four months ago but as you can see by this picture here it makes a significant difference depending on what colors you've got around the cockpit it looks really good as well so this is definitely something to add and i've got all of those active there Digi, I actually leave that now, um, but extra effects I've got active. Now, I don't put motion blur on. I don't really like it. Um, I don't think it suits the game particularly, depending on what you're doing, of course, but you can switch that on if you want to. Um, all the others I've got switched off, apart from temporal anti-aliasing and local reflections. Um, and I've also got some different pieces down here as well, just to make sure that I've got all these extra features added here. Fake shadows effects I've got activated and again this was in a video that I did a few months ago where if the car leaves the ground or even if it's on the ground you'll see some form of shadow there um, but it does the shadow to scale with what's happening to the car which is really cool and of course you can change a number of these pieces here. Uh, force feedback tweaks uh, the one that I use mostly well there's two on here I've obviously got it active but it's these two pieces here I think that's um, that's great but um, all three of these it's worth just experimenting a little bit with that and I'm going to be dropping a video definitely this week on force feedback I'm halfway through and um, putting that together that tells you how to set up your force feedback in a good way for a set of courses so look out for that later on in the week for your camera um, I've just got active and that just allows you to move your camera in different ways which is great um, and then graphic adjustments I've got active and then this is the big one really so this AMD Fidelity FX super resolution I know uh, it was a big thing when it came out and it was implemented in CSP amazing from Ilya and the developers but do experiment with this as well obviously you can change the quality and the sharpness as well and I am conscious that all of you have very different rigs so you know this is something that I have on um, I think it absolutely is going to improve the visual quality of a set of course and it's almost definitely going to improve your frames per second as well so definitely worth having that on there as well this origin shift as well if you are using certain maps this can help to um, stop any kind of um, shaking on the map or other things that may happen that are a little bit strange so that's worth um, putting on too um, and I think that's it or oh, the new shade of a human skin that came out a few months ago that's pretty cool too um, and the other thing to mention is post-processing anti-lazing I've got that switched off here and I'm running all that through my video settings which I'll go through later on grass effects again I've got that active and I've got the quality on very high I don't see much impact on my rig but again if you're trying to eke every last frames per second out it may be worth just changing that and putting it onto low and again I've got these um, extra little pieces on down here just to make it look a little bit nicer if possible GUI I'll just skip past there Lighting effects, this is a big E2, so make sure this is active. Um, and this is all about the car lights, the track lights, all the things that give you more immersion on the game. Neck effects and Logitech G27, I'm going to skip by. And I'm also going to skip by uh, new AI behavior. I have got a couple of videos on the channel that teach you and go through how to set up traffic. And the CSP AI behavior is a real game changer over the last six months on how we actually do that. So that's great. New loading screen. Well, this is all just um, nice pieces to have when you're loading a set of Courser up, especially when you're loading those big tracks up. It just gives you different loading screens. New modes, this is a big one and I've covered it in my recent CSP video so I'm not going to go into any detail here but I'm not running that at the moment, that's inactive. Nice screenshots, I've got active here, why not? Um, I'm always taking lots of screenshots but there's lots of things for you to experiment with in here. Also you can change all the naming format as well which is really cool if you want to do something a little bit more customizable on there. Particle FX, I've got this active and in fact I've got almost everything active in here. now. One of the things that people do mention is sparks. I have got sparks on maximum and that's just because I like to see those sparks. It's a little bit dramatic, uh, but also as well, this long lasting smoke here. I have mentioned it in my recent CSP videos and all the shadow pieces that you've got here as well. So I've really maxed everything out here and I'm not um, cutting any corners on what we see. New flames, I've got active too. It doesn't work for every car, but it works for most cars now. And then of course you've got fireworks here as well. Bits of tires laying around. Um, all the dirt pieces um, arcade brake tracers I switch that off I don't uh, play about with that it does look pretty cool um, but as it says here it's not very realistic 
Next one is rain effects. I've got this active. Um, now, if you've got a non-preview version, I'm not sure you'll have this. So if you've got just on 1.75, do check. But if you haven't, it's because you need the preview version. But the thing this allows you to do this area is with this extension active, you can change where all the drops are. So you've probably seen some of my screenshots that drops are active. So if you pause the um, game, you'll actually see the drops pause as well. It looks very good actually, I really like it. But you can disable those depending on what you're doing too. And racing line again, covered in my recent CSP video, I've got that active. And if you put debug mode on, then it goes the green and red lines and you can see the drying line. So that's great for what's gonna happen in the future. Um, and I'm sure 1.76, a latest preview or the full 1.76, 0.76 is going to be out very soon. I know we're all looking forward to that. Reflections effects. Um, I've got active here. So improves interior reflections by masking the outside ones with a silhouette of the car interior. Um, I've really just followed the guidance on here. I've not got this one on here, but I've got all the rest on. Shadowed wheels. Obviously, we'll keep that active. Skid marks. Keep that active too. Smart mirror, again, this is something that you can play about with depending on your frames per second. I've got it at 1600 meters there, but I've got this active, I've got post processing for virtual mirror, a bit of shaking on older cars at high speed active, all these little pieces of immersion. When you dive into custom shader packs, you really start to see things that you probably don't think you need, but when you put them on, they do add a ton more immersion. Smart shadows, um, this is active and again this is shadows for the track and all sorts of different pieces there the taskbar one is a good one as well so you, the taskbar on the right hand side you can put put that active and you can change the way it works so if you if you have gone into your apps and you've enabled all your apps and you're not seeing them properly do just check in here to make sure this is active and you've got all of these um, ticked as you should do Track adjustments um, adds a little tweaks for tracks, such as adjustment amount of spectators to given race type. So if you are racing around a track uh, with 20 cars and there's no spectators, it might be that you've got this hide all the spectators ticked here. I have this adjust amount of spectators. I think that's really good. So if you're on practice, there's not as many of them races, there's more um, hide crew in track day mode, etc. So a number of different things you can put there. Tire effects, active, so this is the deforming and damageable tires, that's definitely one you need to have on. And then weather effects, this is a real big one, so I've done a number of videos on where we are with this. There's two things that will happen, when you install Sol, you will get your controller script here, so as you can see, I'm on version 2.2, that's Sol 2.2 that I've got installed, and that's the controller script from Sol 2.22. But the weather script, you can choose different things. So even if I go back in time, I've still got horizon shades on there that I covered a long time ago. Um, I've got Sol, obviously, and I've also got Pure. Now, Pure is the one I'm running at the moment. That gives me different PP filters as well. But I can just quite as easily just go back onto Sol 2.2 and run it that way too. So weather effects, really important. Do check what you've got in here. If you don't get the right controller script in here or something's missing out of weather script, it's probably because there's been an install problem or you've got duplicate files. And I always say, and I've done it on all my Sol videos, is that if you get to that point, just take all Sol and CSP off, manually remove it, remove the files, especially Sol, and then just follow the manual install process for that. There's actually a sol uninstall.bat file that you can run that uninstalls sol properly. So if you've got any kind of doubts, that's what you need to do. There's a couple of other pieces in here as well. Force AI headlights is always worth putting on. Um, and then there's a, a couple here, including, including force headlights for other drivers online as well. Windscreen effects, uh, so this is kind of um, speed shadows on the windscreen. Um, this is really good and you've probably seen my video on the snake, which was, um, I think that was the uh, Fulvia that I was driving on that. I, I love that video just because of the lighting effects that bounce off the windscreen. I thought it was really cool. And um, so I've got this active, I've got the extension active and the shadows active. I have got, I have not got, sorry, removed dirt completely um, on there. So, you know, you do get a, your dirty windscreen, we all know that. So um, if you are getting overly uh, worried about the amount of dirt on your windscreen, you can click that as well. This next section, I just keep active, follow the guidance really, um, just to make sure that we've got some more options for reloading PP filters there. And then these next three, uh, these are all new mode tweaks. So you've got triple screen mode tweaks. You've also got VR mode tweaks. And then you've got these custom pieces and you will have seen this on one of my videos too. 
So this is where you've got 360 degree mode, fisheye mode and split screen racing and if you've not seen that video it's really awesome to see split screen racing on a set of Corsa all on the same screen, that's great. Um, last one is music really that I'm going to talk about and this is enabling you to bring in some playlists for your music. A number of the cars now, you may have seen it, you can actually bring your Spotify playlist on there and all the dashboard works correctly, it's really great stuff. So that's it, that's my main um, custom shader patch settings. Next I'm just going to go through the video settings. Next up then we're going to look at video settings, so again we're just going to go into settings a set a course at this time and we're going to go to video now I am going to save this as a, a separate link so you will have a link for the custom shader patch if you want to install those settings and you've also got a link for this video setting pieces it's really simple on this one I've really maxed everything out the only thing I don't have on here are motion blur heat shimmering FX AA I am running sol extra so the footage you see at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video is exactly with all the settings that I've got on here and with Sol Extra so I'm not using any of the pure PP filters at the moment so I am running at 4k on there but the video will upload at 2k also on quality reflections and of course post-processing and this mirrors piece here I've got everything on the highest quality now one of the cool things you can do on this and I know I've mentioned it before but I'll just mention it again for anybody that's new to the channel and that's not used it you can use these little eye buttons that bring up what the performance hit is so you will see my um, frames per second you will see here that I've got 72.7 frames per second on my last session that is running in 4k with all the video settings on max and with everything in CSP switched on that I can switch on so that's not too bad if I did start to lower my quality a little bit I know I can get over 100 frames per second quite easily but I choose to run it this way for you guys depending on your video card and your CPU and also what you're running because if you're running traffic as well remember it's going to pull your frames per second down quite a lot it uses a lot of CPU for that really just tweak these depending on what you want but always use these eye buttons and you've also got the benchmark button in the corner that if you do click on that it will run a quick lap it ran a lap of spa on mine earlier on to get that 72 frames per second and it will just show you what kind of benchmark score you will get so really interesting stuff here so I think this area this video settings is one of the most important for frames per second I've got a couple of videos on the channel that talk through it in some more detail if that's what you need but do remember some of those custom shader patch settings as well they can be quite hungry on some of your resources so again it depends what video card you have got so guys that's a quick run through of my settings I have shared both of those links in the description remember one is for the video settings one is for custom shader patch do remember as well that I'm running preview version here as I said at the beginning of the video so if you do want the exact settings as mine then do grab the preview version and I know a lot of people actually run that now and have got that and if you haven't got the preview version that's no worries you can still use the video to refer to some of the settings that I've got and just pause it along the way so guys I hope that's been useful I've got some brilliant videos coming this week more on CSP and Soul Force feedback and I've got an awesome car pack for you as well so we'll go through that later on in the week as ever thank you again for all your support do remember check out discord we've got over 2,000 people on there now and I know Hippie and Yorg are still organizing all the races on there that you can take part completely free of charge so do try that out and I know I've been saying it for a few weeks now but there are some streams coming both on YouTube and on Twitch so that's going to be happening a lot over Christmas as I get more time with the channel do also remember to check out the rest of the channel there's over 250 videos now on there mostly a set of course but all sorts of other sim racing content too and if you do want to see something specific on the channel whether that's another sim racer or it's something on a set of course do drop it in the comments thank you again guys and i'll see you very soon